Hi guys, welcome. I want to share with you these Viviva color sheets today because I found them in a box, the our snack box. So I had no clue that these things existed and I was so ple pleasantly surprised. They come into sheets. Yes, believe it or not, they are sheets and there's watercolors on it. I think it's magical. Uh, these are the colors quickly. It's a crimson, deep green, pink, vermilion, dusk orange chrome yellow, yellow ochre, burnt amber, burnt sienna, light green, sap green, ver verdian, <laughs> peacock blue, persian blue, violet, magenta, and slate black. And then on the back of all these sheets, there's a little part, like sort of a plastic sheet where that you can use as a palette and mix of oh, colors there i destroyed mine because i by mistake i dropped like a whole glass of water on it uh, it's still there which means that like it's pretty resistant but it's a bit crumbling but you know it's very good it's a very smart setup to go around and like if you if you want to sketch outside if you're traveling it's very nice there's 16 colors so it's a lot to choose it's like having a, a regular palette palette of, of colors so i think it's very convenient i'm gonna play around with them to show you a little bit how they work so you can have a better idea of it and figure if that's a good choice for you or not so quick disclaimer, I'm just playing around here. I'm not trying to do any specific, particular, super fancy illustration. I'm just playing with these colors to see what they can do. And what I want to do is trying to use all of them in two different doodle sheet <laughs> you'll see so i started here trying to sort of layering out to see how those works with layers um and i think for this particular colors the best way to use them is at their full power of saturation um because they're so bright they're so um full of pigment that that's a joy that's that's i think they're for the uh, showing all the brightness of the colors the layers work up until a certain uh, time like if you layer too much i don't think it's um it's giving like the the same result of other watercolors that i've been using uh, this is of course like my personal opinion like it's probably different for anybody else i'm just i'm just letting you know what i think uh, what i thought while i was using it so i sort of starting trying to do layers and then i was like i think i should just go with it and and show them all <laughs> um this uh, colors are very stainy i think there's some sort of ink part to it so you want to keep that in mind if, if you're using them on uh, paper that it's not watercolor paper or not a, a lot of thick paper for example i used this on obonichi paper and, and that's like tomo river paper and there was some uh, uh, bleed through on those pages not a lot but enough to you know flag it with other watercolor that usually doesn't happen there's some ghosting but not bleed through so you know it's just something that you want to keep in mind to to see how you want to use it better way to use them uh, i'm going just in order to use all the colors that are there just to show them you all and i just love them i mean look at them they are so bright it's it's so playful and joyful to work with them and again the quality i think it's very good quality but at the same time it's a little different let's say from other um i don't know maybe ma watercolors that have been used of course there's going to be a difference there but i have to say for the price that you can get these these are a very good deal um i believe uh, these are about 20 dollars or a little bit more definitely less than 30 dollars uh, so maybe it's going to be like 20 something 25 i'm not completely sure because i got them in um, um one of those our snacks box which is like you know you pay for the box and then you get some surprise items in it uh but i've been looking around and i think you can find it between 20 25 dollars so i'll try to find some links and, and add them to um, the description so you know 16 different colors for about 20 bucks it's a pretty good deal considering that they're very nice to work with and they're just like a fun option that you can have one if you're just trying out watercolors 
If you're just starting out and you don't know where to start from and you want a good variety of colors, this is a great option. Also, if you don't want to spend that much on watercolors, we all know that watercolors can be very expensive and you know, Everybody has to deal with it with his or her own budget. We all understand that. So this is a very great option, relatively cheap to start out or to have another option for when you go out or you travel and you don't want to bring your whole palette of half pens, watercolors or tubes. So um, I think it's it's a it's something that you can consider let's say that i don't want to like push anybody to uh buy anything absolutely not it's just um, an information that so you 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 know that this is happening and this is possible because i really didn't know that uh, there was this option of getting watercolors on sheets i think there's other brands that do it uh but this is the one that i got and so i thought it would be nice to share with you so these are all the colors and I think they're super cute. I'm just going over with uh, my fountain pen with permanent ink, black ink, uh, just to give it a little bit more of interest and uh, you know definition, but I'm still keeping it very loose. I, I like to have this effect sometimes of like very loose line. I'm going twice around each building um, just to make it like a little bit more fun. And, and then I'm gonna use a marker and um, like a metallic marker and then a gel pen, white gel pen, just to create a little bit more details. I'll let you finish watching this one and then I start another one with a bunch of flowers, just to have fun because when I started using the watercolors, I was like, oh, I wanna do more. So there's, if you're interested, you can watch me also draw the other little doodle flower illustration that I go with the same watercolors. Again, I'm not doing layers. I'm not going too fancy here. I'm just playing it around. Let me know what you think about these colors in the comments. If you knew already about uh, color sheets, if you use them and what you think about them. Thank you and have a good day.